Well, hello people, I'm going to be comparing two great video cards today. The first one, the Sapphire Radeon HD 6950, and the second one, the EVGA GeForce GTX 580. Now first things first, let's look at the prices. You can get the Sapphire uh, HD 6950 for about $259 while the EVGA GTX 580 is about $499. Now, you can save a lot of money by getting the Sapphire Radeon HD 6950. And to some people, it depends on which games you're playing, but the Sapphire will do better. Now, let's take a look at some specs. Alright, the first one, the, the video memory. The Sapphire is 2GB of GDDR5. The memory interface is 256-bit, 200, the core clock is 800 MHz, the memory clock is 5000 MHz. Okay, and now let's look at the EVGA specs. Alright, the first thing we got here is the video memory, which is at 1536 MB of GDDR5. The memory interface is 384-bit. And uh, the core clock is 772 megahertz, while the memory clock is 4,008 megahertz. The shader clock is at 1,544 megahertz. Okay, well, let's look at some uh, additional features that comes with a video card, like as a standard. That's the Sapphire Radeon HD 6950, comes with ATI's Vivo HD technology, and AMD iSpeed, while the Additional features of the GTX 580 comes with an NVIDIA Pure Video HD technology with NVIDIA 3D Vision Surround ready, which is great for surround sound and stuff like that. Okay, now, the minimum uh, watts that you're going to need of your power supply for the EVGA, you're going to need 600 watts of power minimum to run the GTX 580 and the minimum that you're going to need for the 6950 is 500 watts alright then now uh, it does support Crossfire X the Sapphire does support Crossfire X yes the Sapphire HD 6950 it does support DirectX 11 ATI stream technology and OpenCL it has 1080p support of course and the video outputs are DVI, HDMI. The video output is dual DVI, HDMI. And it has a cooling type fan. And for the GTX 580, it comes with uh, DVI, dual DVI, and HDMI as well. And uh, for it has NVIDIA CUDA, and it does support DirectX 11, of course. Now to me both of these video cards are great and if you're an enthusiast looking to get great graphics then you should get one of these cards. Now if you want a card a bang for its buck then definitely get the Sapphire Radeon HD 6950 definitely. It's cheaper and it might perform better in a lot of games but if you're into the GeForce type of video cards because it's the type of motherboard you got or the type of uh, CPU you have it, uh, then, then yeah get the GTX 580 it all matters on how your uh, system is set up and which graphics cards you uh, prefer now me personally uh, I'm more into the ATI Radeon stuff because of the setup I have but uh, I, I'm, I'm also a huge fan of GeForce now I love both of these cards up a lot and uh, if I if I had the money I would get the EVGA and but I don't so that's why I'm gonna get the Sapphire Radeon HD instead now don't get me wrong both of these video cards are great but uh, the reason why I love Radeon is because uh, they can make video cards just as good as uh, 
GeForce, but for a lot cheaper. That's why I'm a huge fan of theirs. But don't get me wrong, like I said, GeForce is great as well. And in some in some games it plays better than the Sapphire in many ways. Uh, the EVGA card plays like Crisis better maybe because Crisis was kind of made for uh, GeForce cards. But uh, I'm not really sure, you know. I'm, I'm not a really, really high-end type of person. I'm just researching and telling you guys. So maybe we can have a discussion or a debate in the comment section below into which video card is better uh, please subscribe uh, I'm, I'm gonna buy uh, these these cards really really soon and I'm gonna have a full unboxing video and all that stuff so please subscribe thank you bye